Losing you was the wake-up call I needed to understand that nothing else truly holds significance. Among the countless women out there, none compare to you. I envision my entire future reflected in your eyes. I yearn to invest all that I am back into you. You've given me so much, and I aspire to reciprocate that, to foster a connection that's truly mutual. I acknowledge that I've taken much from you, your time, energy, and emotional support. However, I no longer want to be a mere recipient in this relationship. Being a masculine or male figure in your life, it should be my responsibility to protect and provide for you, whether financially or emotionally. I want something stable. I have always wanted that. But the way my life is set up, I have never seen a positive connection. I don't have that influence around me, so I know I have been slow to come towards you, but I promise you, I'm on my way. However, I have to go at my own pace, because if I rush in, I'll feel like I'm going to ruin it again. If I move as fast as I want to, then I know things may mess up terribly again. You know how that saying goes, fools rush in, and I don't want to be a fool. I want to come towards you and do things the right way so that they last. I'm aware that I've taken an extensive amount of time to come to terms with my feelings. I've entertained various scenarios of what our future together could entail. Regrettably, I've also compared you to others, a mistake for which I take full responsibility. I understand that my actions have caused you pain, metaphorically stabbing you in the back. Honestly, I struggle to comprehend why I acted as I did. However, I now recognize your significance in my life. You're truly something special to me. My tendency to self-sabotage stems from a fear of anything disrupting my life. My past experiences with love and emotions have been toxic, instilling in me a deep-seated apprehension towards you and your love. I wrongly believed that allowing myself to love you would only bring ruin. That fear led me to push you away, a decision I now deeply regret as my biggest mistake. I knew I left you all up in your head. I went silent, wondering if my stability is in you and not that you bring me stability. But my life could be what I have always dreamed of. It would be, but it's also true that it was always a dream until I met you. You bring that dream to reality, and I panicked. But in this panic, I saw it all so clearly. Whatever options I thought I had, whatever decisions I thought I was really making, kept me stuck and bound by nothing. I want to turn the page. I want to bring you all the happiness that you deserve. I'm coming to you with all my love, and I hope and pray that you, my queen, accept it, because this love that I have is only for you. I strongly believe that together, we can cultivate the kind of relationship that seems only possible in movies. Our our connection will illuminate those around us, inspiring them to believe in the extraordinary because we've made it a reality. I ache for you. Amidst the chaos of daily life, all I can do at night is yearn to hold you close, to let go of all my worries in your embrace. My desire for you surpasses anything I've felt for anyone else. Your presence ignites a fire within me. My body trembles with anticipation. Being with you fills me with a sense of euphoria, unlike anything I've experienced before. I acknowledge that I haven't been the best partner to you. I understand that my actions have left you feeling neglected and undervalued. However, please know that it's not a reflection of your worth. It's a result of my own struggles with self-worth. Losing you has been a sobering experience making me realize that nothing else truly holds significance. Among the many women in the world, none compare to you. None evoke the same feelings within me as you do. None stand by me with the unwavering support and strength that you do. You are the epitome of a real, authentic woman, and you've shown me the true meaning of strength. Subscribe for future updates and stay tuned. Thank you, dear soul family, for your support.